Goldman Sachs strikes again by buying an entire community of single-family homes. Doesn't matter if you're liberal, conservative, this should be terrifying to you and this should be illegal. This is one of the main reasons why you can't afford to buy a single-family home right now. Because hedge funds and foreign investors and Goldman Sachs and BlackRock are buying up single-family homes and controlling the rental market. Some of them are buying up single-family homes and letting them sit vacant because it's preferable to leaving money in a savings account as for them, a hedge against inflation. This is terrifying. The primary wealth builder in the United States has always been property ownership. And, and, and this is why you can't buy a home right now. This is why you're being priced out of the market. And it doesn't benefit any of us. This should be illegal. The TikToker with a message every American needs to hear about our red-hot housing market and the banks hoping you won't hear it. That was TikTok user Balaban explaining how a Goldman Sachs-backed rental fund recently bought an entire 87-home community in Florida, cutting out actual buyers and driving prices even higher. And Goldman isn't alone in scooping up America's red-hot real estate market. Banks across the country are getting in on the action. Balaban is talking about big banks' latest hobby. You see, the stock market is overheated, and big banks don't earn a lot of money in cash accounts. So banks have started to look for solid returns on their mountains of profit. And they found a familiar target, buying hundreds of thousands of American single-family homes. With hedge funds now engaged in a record $60 billion land grab, it's no surprise that banks are using their power to outbid regular Americans at every turn. That's a disaster for regular buyers, as home prices set all-time records in March. The median sale price of a home is now $428,000. That's over $100,000 more than just over two years ago. That isn't normal. Home prices have never risen so far so fast, not even before the financial crisis in 2008. And that's happening everywhere. In fact, that sudden spike has driven many people out of the communities their families have lived in for generations. In place sit vacant houses purchased at huge markups by banks who often have no idea where Indianapolis or Huntington, West Virginia even are. Home prices are skyrocketing. And that's because hedge funds and big banks can afford to make all cash above asking price offers that entice buyers to sell quickly. And as banks own more and more homes in a community, they're more and more able to set rental rates and purchase prices. That means that renters will often have no choice but to deal with the only landlord left, hedge funds. As one TikTok commenter remarked, it's like we're literally reverting back to feudalism. But some blue states are fighting back. In New Jersey, the mayor of Newark is trying to slow the growth of home sales directly to investors or hedge funds. And he has good reason. Home ownership is a cornerstone of wealth building and always has been. Every neighborhood snatched up by a bank is an entire neighborhood of families cut off from building generational wealth. That hurts not just the middle class, but all of us. Newark has made it a crime for banks to try and harass owners into selling. The city's also placed affordable housing deed restrictions on any property sold to private buyers. That goes some of the way, but more action is absolutely needed. As big banks continue snapping up entire city blocks and whole suburban neighborhoods, renters are already feeling the heat from price hikes. Without small landlords to balance out prices, banks have vaulted the price of a one-bedroom in New York City to nearly $4,000 a month. Many Americans are waking up to discover their new landlords have priced them out of the cities in which they live and work. And the only option left is to sell. With the American middle class being literally pushed out of their homes by hedge funds eager to turn their property into an investment portfolio, our country faces a great hollowing out. Without the growth in generational wealth enabled by home ownership, Americans become a class of renters with little leverage to pursue their own dreams. The banks fighting to protect the status quo would love nothing more.